What's up everybody, my name is Julian and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Julian to the MD. Okay, so in today's video, I wanted to talk about asking for help when you're struggling with something. And this is specific to medical school, but honestly, you can apply this to like any areas of life, honestly. And you actually should, what I've learned over the years. So if you wanna hear about more about that and my experience with asking for help, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so starting off, I just feel like in general, I've always been the type of person to struggle in silence. And honestly, that's not good. That's not sustainable. Um, it, it wasn't sustainable. <laughs> it wasn't working. Um, thank God I made it to the point I am, I, I'm at right now, you know, with, without asking for help. But, you know, in this area of life, I, I've seen, you know, that asking for help really, really does help. And so I want to just put y'all on to that if you aren't. Um, so a little background, obviously I'm in medical school. My channel is called Julian to the MD. And so, you know, throughout college, th there were times where I was struggling, specifically my junior year, won't really get into the specifics, but I was struggling a lot with, you know, m multiple areas of my life, academics, personal, emotional, all of that. Um, and so, you know, I really did struggle in silence and, you know what that does is just amplify what you're going through because you have you do have people to, t to talk to about it or at least i did but i didn't and so it was i was really in the space where i didn't have like anybody to talk to um if that makes sense and so you know that really just makes all the issues worse because then you're just dealing with issue on top of issue and they just like stack on top of each other and you know it gets to a point where like it becomes too much and you know, a person that's excelling in certain areas of their life can start to, you know, just become very dysfunctional, like daily. And so, um, sp speaking specifically about my academics, because that's what this video is about, um, in college, you know, there were plenty of times where I was in classes that were like terribly hard. And I did not do good in those classes because I didn't go to like tutoring sessions. I didn't reach out for help to professors when I needed help. And so, um, while being in medical school, I honestly, I honestly have seen already how much asking for help can like make someone better or like bring out your proficiencies more. Um, it's not that, you know, you're inadequate. That's one thing that I felt, I felt like I, I would be like inadequate or like less than for asking for help, but it's not that you're inadequate. It's just that maybe you aren't you know moving in the ways that will like fully showcase your proficiencies and what you're good at you can be good at something but you just haven't really tapped in to you know how to showcase that you're good at it or the ways in which to you know work on that skill and you know flourish in certain areas and so um i was struggling a lot when i came to medical school uh, i've only been here for like two months but two months seems like two years honestly but you know I, I really was struggling you know I feel like the ways in which I studied in the past just weren't working and I wasn't sure if they weren't working or not but based off my test scores in the first two tests they were not working <laughs> so it's, it's, it's very apparent uh, now at, at this moment that they weren't working and you know I just like continued to use the same patterns the same study techniques hoping that you know they would work at some point and they weren't and so you know, one day I ended up talking to one of my professors and she, you know, gave me some tips on how to study more efficiently and effectively. She went through the process years ago, so she obviously knows, you know, how to get where, where I want to be because she's there. Um, and so, you know, talking to her really helped and really helped me, you know, kind of like be op more open to changing my study patterns because I felt like the way I was studying was like the only way that I could possibly be successful and obviously, I wasn't being successful, so <laughs> it wasn't working out. Uh, and so after talking to her, you know, I ended up changing my study habits and, you know, she even told me to, you know, go on and ask for help from somebody else. Um, a lady named Tess, which is like our academic support specialist. Not really sure like what the technical name is, but uh, I'm going to reach out to her soon. But, you know, she even told me to like ask for further help. And so I'm definitely going to do it because I've already seen how her, you know, two, three minutes of advice has like helped me transform already because I'm making another video about this uh, once the test scores are like officially released and we know like if they drop questions or not. But I did significantly better on my last test, which was a true testament to 
the fact that asking for help does help. But yeah, like I said, I mean, you really can use this in like any areas of life. Just, you know, don't don't beat yourself up for having to ask for help if you see others around you, you know, doing good without asking for that help. Because that, that was one thing that I, I've been struggling with, honestly, because a, a lot of my classmates, you know, they've just been getting things so naturally. Some of them don't have to study as much as me. Well, many of them don't have to study as much as me and they've been doing better. And so, you know, that that was really defeating because I just felt like, you know, is this the right place for me? Like, is this the right career for me? Like, if I can't make it through, you know, the the foundations course, which is like the easy course, then like, how will I be able to make it through the rest of medical school? And so um, just like don't beat yourself up be adaptable know that you are capable asking for help can just bring out that capability more than you know not asking for help and so just be open don't feel inadequate be proud of yourself especially like now like i'm, I'm in medical school it's no way i should feel inadequate like it's not rational it's not but you know it's my feelings and you know that's how i feel it's valid but there's no reason why I should feel like inadequate and feel like I'm not good enough. I made it to medical school. I made it all the way here. I'm in a very advanced, like, graduate degree program at a, at a good school, a really good medical school. And so, you know, just talk to yourself like this. Have these talks with yourself. I'm having my talk on camera and I will post it um, just to maybe hopefully influence some of y'all to reach out for help. But, you know, don't be scared to ask for help when you're struggling because it can only help you it can't hurt you so that's all i really want to say today i appreciate y'all for watching my channel um i definitely want to have like more like real talks like this and i came in my car because this is just like i don't know my car is like a safe space for me like a place of comfort and so i feel like when i'm in my car this is like a place where i think a lot if i'm like struggling stressing or whatever i just like drive around i'm not driving right now because i'm holding my camera i want to be safe but this is a place where like i just like often express my thoughts more and so that's why i'm here i'm gonna have more of these talks uh with y'all just about like things i'm going through and hopefully be able to help y'all you know talk to your feelings as well but if y'all struggle with anything feel free to reach out reach out to me on instagram or reach out to somebody okay reach out to anybody but like i'm here for my like you know subscribers supporters whoever's watching this video like anybody that needs help i'm always there but that's the end of the video. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hopefully, you know, y'all are able to, you know, think and talk about your feelings with somebody and, you know, just find ways to, you know, just be better in the future. So without further ado, that's the end of the video. Peace out, friends.